everyone. Welcome back to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios. This morning you saw Spectrum Art Creations haul. This afternoon I'm showing you a little bit of everything that I picked up while I was out running around in Poplar Bluff yesterday. First off, um, I went to an American Legion garage sale yesterday. They do this a couple of times a year. And this first time I've had the opportunity to go. But there was a coin collector there. And he had a 1950s Washington Quarter. There were 24 million of these made. This is 90% silver. So why did I buy a 1950s quarter? Because this is going to be included as part of my book that I'm finishing now, where the Korean War veteran that we bring home in the book uh, took this with him, kept this with him in his pocket when he shipped out to Korea. And this will be one of the items that is in his... Um, wife's treasure box uh, that was part of the effects that they sent back to her in 1952. So I have this. Now, now let's get rid of the box that I didn't move from earlier <laughs> and show you another thing I picked up there yesterday. And I do not spend my $5 bills. I got to tell you that right off the bat. I don't spend my $5 bills because I saved them and at the end of the year, I count them up, and I save between twelve and fifteen hundred dollars a year. And I'm going to turn this sideways. But I spent one of my fives yesterday when I found this. It's a vignette gardenish looking thing, and there's two shelves and the canopy. And I thought this would be so perfect in my kitchen with my bunny rabbits on it, maybe a couple of plants. So picked this up, and I spent five dollars for it because it was just so darn cute. It's a tiered tray. It was made by Crescent Enterprises in New Temple City, Taiwan, China. Okay, so I have that cute little thing. When I get it set up, I'll post a picture on my group. Next, excuse me, I hate when video owners do that. I picked up this, there's four yards of this lace. And you know, because I needed more lace... Had a nice chat with this gal. Found out she has a flea market booth. So doing that yesterday was a good promotional venue for her because she got to tell people about her flea market booth. And Bob and I like to hit the flea markets when he's home. So this may be a trip we make while he's home this time. Boy, she's really got that tied up good. I'm trying to find an end so I can show you what it looks like. Here we go. Here we go. Found it found it. Boy, does she have it wrapped up good. She also has an eBay shop. And now I can't remember what it was called. Silly me. But there's this. Isn't that pretty? Nice vanilla ecru color. I like that. So, more lights to play with. Woohoo! And then, this I had to have. Someone has made, and this is very vintage, but they took a plain apron and one hanky and cut it into fourths. They made a pocket with one corner, and then they bordered the bordered the um, apron with three other, with the other three panels. Isn't that adorable? So. They've already cut it up for me, so I don't mind cutting into it. Now I did tell her about where I buy nap, where I buy my hankies, um, so if she wants to add some of those to her shop. She can, but um, yeah, I had to have that, and it's so springy. And I know I'm sticking to Dollar Tree stuff for for Jessica's Paper Terrace Dollar Tree Journal. But when I get into spring, I just want to create all kinds of spring junk journals. So I won't mind cutting this out because they've already have it trimmed where they sewed it on. And it looks like it's been hand sewn on, which is really cool. So I have that. And then I went to Hobby Lobby. Shh, don't tell Maddie. But they had clearance and she doesn't sell Happy Planner. So... I went to Hobby Lobby. Oh, I found these eggs. Aren't these cute? And I thought, 
Okay, I've got a Dollar Tree bag here somewhere. I'm not sure where I set it. I think it's over on the other table, and I will grab it here in a minute. But I wanted these eggs because they're styrofoam, which means you could take a needle and thread and run right up through the top and make them dangles on your planners or your junk journals. Look at that. Now, I can't use those in the paper terrace ones, so I will show you what I am going to use. Then I picked up this stamp, and it was 94 cents, and I just had to have it because I just loved, I love the pattern around the outside with a place in the center to put a word. And, you know, since I'm cataloging my stamps, now's a good time to keep adding to them, right? Oh, speaking of, I have to go into Stampin' Up's website. I'm really going to need to lose the weight loss challenge, win the weight loss challenge this time because they released a new coffee collection that released yesterday. Paper, stamps, embellishments. Yeah, I'm, I'm in trouble. So, but I love this. So, new stamp. And then we have the Clarence Planner items that I bought. I'm always needing paper. Primarily my planners are classic happy planner size. And these are normally $7.99 and I got them for $1.99. And then I got another set of these. Now I had just ordered some of these from Happy Planner, but I can always change the tab at the top as to what I need it to be. And so these were down from $8 down to $1.99. And then there were these, and I'm going to open these up because I like the dark color in these. And these were $6.99 down to $1.24. Today is the perfect day to start living your dreams. Only you can make it happen. And look at this copper foiled one. Almost looks like maybe pussy willows up through there. So that was my happy planner haul. And then, on my coffee bar, which I'm going to have a photo on my blog on Wednesday. And I'll only unwrap one of these. Uh, this is from Market Square. And I have two of these in red on my, eh, on my blog. Or on my coffee bar and not thinking I didn't take these off the coffee bar when I moved it out of the kitchen to steam clean the floor and one of them fell off and broke now I have repaired it not happy with it but I've repaired it so I went ahead and picked these up in the pink I can use these I can set a little plant on them these make great cupcake stands um, so, and if Christmas, he says, they, he says they're bringing these out just about for every occasion. Darn it, they didn't have them in the green in the St. Patty's. But I can hang on to these, and if they do not bring them back at Christmas, then I can paint these two in red, and I won't have one that's broken. So, <laughs> there is that. Okay, that was my haul. Let me grab that Dollar Tree bag really quick. Now, I'm not going to show you everything because it's part of what's going to be in my video for tomorrow. But, I had to pick these up. <laughs> Those cute cupcake wrappers. I know, they're fall, but hey, grab them while you can find them. Okay, now, I picked up a package of these and a package of these at Hobby Lobby. Okay, we have the clear ones, the solid ones, and then we have the glitter ones. Well, the glitter ones are pretty. So this is what I found at Dollar Tree. They have these bottle brush trees. Now they have them in solid colors, pastels, but they had the um, ombre trees with the eggs on them. Now since I got this at Dollar Tree, I can pop these eggs off and I can use these as the embellishments 
that I want to use in my Dollar Tree journal. And I will show you that tomorrow. We will dissect this tomorrow. I also picked up a new package of their markers. I need to replace some of my colors in my planner supply that travels with me. They don't last long, but for $1.25, there it is. Now, I did not have the chance to talk to my manager friend yesterday. She was off to find out if the rumors are true about everything going to $1.75. But even at that, $1.75, you're still cheap. Still inexpensive for things. Picked up a couple more packets of the plant labels because <laughs> hopefully weather's going to break soon and I can get into the greenhouse and start my, uh, start my garden. Picked up a set of these. Bob is always wondering where toenails clippers are at, and I thought he had a set. So these are going to go in his Easter basket. Yes, I do an Easter basket for my husband. And then these are the bunnies that I was talking about the other day. Aren't they cute? So these are a potential for my journal, and we will talk about that more tomorrow. So that is it for my short Dollar Tree haul yesterday. Um, I will be back here tomorrow to show you how I'm changing up my Dollar Tree kit. And then Monday, we're going to be talking pages and pockets, courtesy of Melina Pliant. In, oh, speaking of, Melina has just hit 30,000 subscribers, and she has a giveaway over on her channel. I will link her down below. She is giving away a free digital, at least one free digital, every week in the month of March. Now, if you are a member of her channel and you've not seen this video, she has a bonus for her members. <coughs> so you're going to want to go check that out. So I will see you back here tomorrow for... What am I doing tomorrow? Oh, yeah, changing up the Dollar Tree kit. In the meantime, remember to like, to share, subscribe, and create a blessings.